Oye, perdóname, señor. My pequeñas. <laughs> They've changed so much. I don't know where I went wrong with my Gabriela. <laughs> Sometimes family can surprise you. <laughs> Is that why you say your father was not a good man? He was one of the chief architects of a weapon of mass destruction. Not when we started, Rico. Project Iyapa was meant to save lives. Imagine the ability to disperse tornadoes before they fall. <laughs> to bring rain to drought-stricken areas. Mm. Espinosa seems to have another agenda. Oscar. <laughs> he thought his father was squandering his family's fortune on this altruistic project. When he took over, he changed our direction. He wanted us to weaponize Iyapa's technology so he could sell it to the highest bidder. Come help me with this, por favor. <clears throat> but once we were working on a weapons project, your father stopped his work and he left Solis at once. Oscar sent my own daughter my Gabriella to arrest me. My niece thought I was dead. So I ended up here, still working on a weather weapon, but now from a cell. You've been working on Zona Uno this whole time. <laughs> I had indeed. You ready, Tio? I believe so. Yes. Kill the lights.
So, you have a plan, Lanza. As I said, I've been working on Zona Uno. Your father's departure sent Oscar back a decade. The bastard needed my help just to recover the time he lost. But I also built in a flaw. Flaw? A flaw that will allow us to access the core. But first, we need to get into Zona Uno. Each core was our first major breakthrough in weather modification. We thought the best place to test your father's theory was the desert. The result was total control of a sandstorm. Hmm. We're taking the train. We rode the train every day into Zona Uno. The sandstorms may travel difficult, but the tracks are still there. If we weigh the train down enough, the winds of the sandstorm won't affect it. Exactly, Mira. You'll need some heavy armor. There are armored trains at Estación Atalaya. We can probably get something there. We should be able to retrofit a standard train chassis. From Grand Central, we should be able to secure a train without too much trouble. Then we just need a place to do the adjustment somewhere near Zona Uno. Estación Perdida. Estación Perdida. We can do the work there. I think we have a train. That gets us into Zona Uno. But what happens when we get there? What's this flaw? The shielding there is segmented. I positioned it to Oscar as a failsafe. For ventilation? The shield opens to ventilate the sandstorm core if it overheats. And once the shield is open? That's where it gets interesting. Once the shield is open, I will need to personally climb the structure and manually release the locking clamps on the shield. Then we should be able to dismantle the power... What if... We put a giant gun on the train instead? A giant gun? See, si. We shoot the armor once it's ventilated. The force of a large artillery shell should be sufficient to dislodge the shielding once it's been opened... ...and leave the core intact. Well, what, you hadn't thought of that, Tio? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get a gun like that? Prospero Torretas. They put some high-caliber weaponry on their turrets. And once we shut off the armor? The core will be exposed. I'll hack in and disable one of Yapa's defense nodes. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> 